President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, is not only under scrutiny for his dealings with Russia. Special counsel Robert Mueller is also reportedly investigating whether Flynn was involved in a plot to kidnap a Turkish cleric. Jeff Pegues has more on this. In the weeks before he became national security advisor, with Donald Trump in the White House, the Wall Street Journal reports that Michael Flynn met with representatives of the Turkish government to discuss a plan to forcibly return a cleric legally living in the United States to Turkey. In exchange, the journal says Flynn and his associates would be paid up to $15 million. The cleric, Fatullah Gulan, has been blamed by Turkey's president for a failed coup in July of 2016. Gulan denies being involved. That December meeting was at least the second between Flynn and Turkish representatives. I needed to say something about it. Former CIA was director it, James Woolsey told CNN in March that, that he was at another meeting in September of 2016 when the forced removal of Gulan was also discussed. He says he's been in touch with the special counsel's office. I am not claiming that there was a concrete plan that was being fleshed out uh, at the meeting, uh, but there was a good deal of discussion of that general direction. In a statement, Flynn's attorneys said the allegations ranging from kidnapping to bribery are outrageous and false. But in a recent federal filing, Flynn confirmed the September meeting and that his consulting firm was paid $530,000 by a company with ties to the Turkish government. Bill Matea, former federal prosecutor, says the Mueller team may be trying to get Flynn to cooperate. Hypothetically, they're going to get the benefit of his knowledge and knowledge at very high levels within the campaign and the administration. In January and February, President Trump urged FBI Director James Comey to drop the Flynn investigation. And those conversations led to Comey's eventual firing and the appointment of the special counsel. Anthony. Jeff Pagase, thank you, Jeff.